medieval times, the concept of fast food as we know it today did not exist. However, life still required a lot of people needing to get from one place to another on a time schedule, and people still needed to eat quickly and on the go. So, what options would have been available to them? Without a ye old McDonald's or a Kentucky Fried Goose to head to, what would have been the closest thing to fast food in the medieval times? Well, that's what we're going to explore in today's episode of History Unveiled. The concept of fast food, though commonly associated with modern American culture, has roots dating back to ancient times. In urban areas with large populations of the financially disadvantaged and single individuals living in cramped quarters, the need for quick and affordable food options arose. Without the means to store food, cooking equipment, or fuel, these individuals turned to readily available street vendors. As early as the late 12th century, London's Thames River had a bustling fast food district, catering to travelers with a variety of options and prices, with many open 24 hours a day. Just stop by on a horse and you've got yourself the equivalent of a medieval drive through as the Middle Ages progressed, many urban centers in Britain and continental Europe experienced a population surge, similar to ancient Rome. Cities like Cologne and Venice had a population of around 50,000, while London had a population nearing 25,000 in a smaller area. However, a study of the city of Colchester in England in the early 14th century revealed a surprising fact. A mere 3% of households that paid taxes had a kitchen. This means that many artisans, workers, and members of the urban poor, such as impoverished widows, lived in single rooms without access to basic cooking facilities, not even a hearth. This lack of resources led to the development of fast food options in urban areas as a means of survival, providing quick and affordable meals for those in need. So while fast food may feel like a very modern invention, it was actually an incredibly common and necessary element of medieval society. The Medieval Big Mac If the Middle Ages had their own version of the Big Mac, it was the meat pie. Meat pies were the absolute go-to standard for food that you could grab and take on the go. They were sold, particularly in London, in great numbers by vendors who came to be known to the general public as pie men. Many people relied on the pies and pastries sold by pie men for their daily sustenance. However, medieval customers had to be cautious when buying fast food, as the quality of the meat was often questionable. A genuine 13th century source from Norwich reports that cooks were using diseased pork and serving it to customers. And this was a major concern as it could lead to food poisoning and other health issues. Sometimes meat pie shops warmed up spoiled pies that were several days old rather than waste them, which further increased the risk of food poisoning. And in addition, undercooked meat was often also a major problem, many times leading to illness. The reputation of medieval cooks was tarnished by the use of spoiled or tainted meat in their pies, and this led to the rise of the saying, God sends the meat, but the devil sends the cooks, which reflects the mistrust of the cooks' practices. People needed to be careful when buying meat pies and pasties from street vendors, as the quality of the meat was not always guaranteed. Let nothing go to waste, not even your bowl. Bread was a staple food in medieval Europe and one of the most commonly purchased items from shops rather than made at home. According to studies, in 41% of urban households, people didn't own their own grain and had to purchase bread from bakers. The convenience of buying bread from a shop was especially appealing for those who didn't have the means to make their own bread. In addition to buying loaves of bread, customers could also purchase prepared hot foods such as meat pies that could be eaten immediately. Bakers also offered a unique service where customers could bring their own meat to the bakery and ask the baker to wrap it in bread and bake it. This practice ended up becoming so entrenched in English society that in 1350, the Government of London even passed a law that banned bakers from charging more than a penny to customers who provided their own meat. Medieval Europeans also pioneered the use of bread bowls, known to the people of the time as trenchers, and which were commonly used to serve soups and stews in. The bread bowl was used to bulk up the meal and also serve as the container, making it a convenient and efficient way of eating on the go. Is it just me or does a bread bowl sound quite appetizing? Now, if you're enjoying this dive into the delicacies of the medieval working class, make sure to head down and leave a like with extra fries or grab a takeaway subscribe.
It only takes a second and it's the easiest way to support the channel. Plus, it means you get to see more of the content you find most interesting here on History Unveiled. Now let's take a look at funnel cakes. While still popular today, an early version of funnel cake was one of the most popular options for people in the Middle Ages looking for a tasty treat while on the go. The dish was popular across Europe, existing in many different variations, but is originally thought to have come from the Middle East and made its way westward. Medieval funnel cakes called for all kinds of ingredients. Popular variants could be made with figs, apples, almonds or other fruits. In England, these early funnel cakes were known as Crispies and were served fresh, topped with sugar. As ingredients were far more limited in the Middle Ages than they are nowadays, the people of the time were not shy about getting creative with their cakes. Some creative variants included supplementing the dough with sweetened cottage cheese and creating a milk fritter. These cakes were easy to make quickly and in large quantities, making them a popular choice for food vendors who were looking to serve up quick and portable meals for the public. Holy pretzels! Soft pretzels were a beloved quick treat in medieval Europe, and for a fast food had the added benefit of being approved by the Catholic Church. The traditional recipe for pretzels during this time only required three simple ingredients – water, flour and salt. This made them a permissible food choice during the fasting periods when the church banned the consumption of animal products, such as during Lent. Pretzels offered a flavorful and satisfying alternative during these times of abstinence. Medieval monks also played a role in the popularity of pretzels, as they would often hand them out as a reward to children who recited their prayers. As pretzels gained popularity, they became associated with good luck and prosperity. Due to their connection to the church, they also became a symbol of spiritual well-being, and in certain regions, people would even distribute pretzels to the poor as a charitable act. Due to their positive image in society, pretzels were a popular choice for many bakers to offer as a quick snack to bring good fortune to their customers. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Waffles have a long history dating back to ancient Greece, where they were known as obelios and were cooked between metal plates. However, it was during the medieval era that waffles began to resemble the sweet treat that we know today. Medieval Europeans enjoyed waffle wafers made from a similar batter to ancient obelios, but with a few differences. The Catholic Church, for instance, produced wafers made from flour and water that featured biblical scenes. The Crusades, a series of religious wars fought during the medieval period, also had a significant impact on the development of waffles. As Crusaders traveled to different parts of the world, they brought back new ingredients and techniques which were added to the waffle wafer batter. This included ingredients such as cinnamon, honey and cream, which helped to make waffles more flavorful and delicious. In the 15th century, the Dutch came up with a new innovation in waffle making by inventing rectangular grid patterned plates. This helped to give waffles their characteristic shape and also made them easier to cook. As a result of these innovations, waffles became a popular fast food option that could easily be bought on the street. It wasn't until the 18th century that waffles acquired their modern spelling, with an English cookbook adding the second F to the name. In many European countries, such as the Netherlands and Belgium, the legacy of medieval street food can still be seen in the present-day popularity of waffles. So it's clear to see that fast food wasn't just a drive through convenience, but a way of life for many. From pie men with their meat pies and monks with their soft pretzels, to waffles and bread bowls, medieval Europe had it all.